everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here. Back in another video. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Um, in this tutorial, we are gonna be doing the block skin command. I know you guys have been waiting for this, and in the last video, we did the block skin morph um button. So uh feel free to go watch that because this really explains everything in this video, and you will both you will probably want both of these in your game. So I know you guys are probably wondering. Yes, I did pre-record this um, basically a month, two months before I go on vacation just for you guys because I really want to make sure I'm not behind and that I am able to have these videos out for you. I don't know why I choose this date for this video and I know you guys have been waiting for this one, but yeah, we got this for you. So um, we just left off with the morph button and now we're going to be talking about the command. So you're going to go in the description and you're going to grab the model and it is going to be this right here. You're going to hit claim, you're going to hit download, or whatever you want to do until it says item owned, and you are basically going to import this into your game. Um, before we go on more to this, uh, feel free to click that subscribe button and turn on that post notifications. It means so much to me, everybody, and uh, we are almost at 21,000. Maybe we'll be at 21,000 in a month, I hope, um, but hope we already are. And uh, yeah, and also join the Discord because we will help out everyone that joins the Discord and in the very friendly community. And um, yeah, it's pretty nice. So let's get straight into this. All right. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to grab this model by going to inventory and you're going to grab this block skin command. Feel free to import it and you're going to see that we have the block skin command already. Now, if you didn't do the morph part, you are going to ungroup the block skin into replicated storage, which I already did, so I'm just going to delete that. But now we have the server script service. So, talking about the server script service, this is the command script we did in one of our videos, which you can go watch. Um, it's all, There's a bunch of them, and it's pretty simple, nothing too crazy, and I can go, I'm going to go over everything just real quick because might as well. But we have the template, of course. You will need to make sure um, you add your idle jump and walk animation. And of course, I explained in the last video what this all does and how it works. So feel free to go watch that. Um, but the idle jump and walk animation, make sure you change the IDs and the jump sound if you want. But um, this is going to be the template we use. Now, we have this right here. So I'm going to open this all up real quick for you. And we're going to explain this. Um, but this is pretty simple. Let's go over the config. So this was in the last video. It's pretty simple. Um, but how this works is this is the configuration config configuration basically the same thing right here We have slash block skin. You can change this to at exclamation point dot You know this you can do whatever you want. This is your command So feel free to mess with this. This is what's going to be said in the chat So make sure to mess with that then we have the group ID game pass ID and admins now um, I just left this video if you wanted to go get the new version of commands and just use this module right here so you can put it into devs um, command tutorial then I'd recommend going doing that it's with a new text chat service so that's really nice um, but I just saw I might as well just use this for you guys because it's super simple and easy to understand so group ID grab your group ID by just going to the when you click on your group go to the top link get that nine number same for game pass and then admin same thing for the user so that's gonna be me the person and then make sure to just add a comma if you want more people um, which I'll explain in a second um, and yeah so that's about it now in the commands we have basically the whole thing right here and I'm going to talk this and explain it so we grab the players replicate storage marketplace service commands config group ID game pass ID and admins um, now what we're doing is when the player joins a game we're going to create a new local variable called player and when their character gets added as in saying when they load in their character um, we're going to new local variable called character now when the player chats we are going to create a new local variable called message and we are going to do a few things so if you want this blocks command to be free so everyone can use it, keep it like this. If you want this blocks command to be a group command, hold, uh, get this part of portion of the script, uh, do command X, I mean control X, and you're going to paste this into the group right here. If you want this to be a game pass one, feel free to paste right here. If you want this to be an admin one, feel free to paste it into here. Now, if you wanted to be all of them, just um, you're going to need to add the if statements like um, if players admin, then you can do that. Or, you know, if they're bought the game pass, pretty simple. Um, but so in the config, what you guys don't need to change anything rather than just where do you want this uh, part of the portion to be? 
and that's the reason because we already check if the player is in the group by going to the config that you guys did change and if they are we're going to print that statement right here then we already create this player bought this game pass which we're going to check if marketplace service user owns game pass async as in saying do they own the game pass if they do then they own it right here and then we're just going to the table we'll find and if the, uh, the player user id is in that table so how this works, local blockskin equals message. So the message that they send match config.blockskin. So if the message matches what they said, so slash blockskin, which was in our config, if it matches this, then we are going to require from the commands dot free commands dot blockskin, and then we are going to do blockskin command dot blocks player. So this is the module part of the script. Now, um, I I did explain in the last video about how like separated the free commands group commands and everything like that so i'd recommend going and checking that out but um in here is the whole script um i talked about this in the last video too but um i'm gonna explain this one more time but we have the module right here called blocks and what we're doing is we're getting the player and we're doing all this stuff so we're grabbing all their accessories all their shirts and pants all the head and faces and we are basically grabbing that from your player and we are going to set it onto that template the reason we are setting that template is because we are going to clone it and call it our new character. And what we're going to do is we're going to set that new character, as in saying the block skin template, to where you are standing. We're going to change all its accessories to the um, to what you all you were. So all your accessories are going onto that new character. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do player dot character equals new character. So we're basically going to like kill you, remove your body, or whatever, and replace it for the block skin character. And then we are setting that new character, bot parent to workspace. So that's about it. Nothing too crazy. Um, I would recommend really checking out the last video because I explain it more. Um, it's nice to understand. But like I said, you guys, if you want to grab the new um, tutorial that Dev did about the commands, it's actually much nicer. I just kind of decided to use this because it's simpler to understand. But um, basically, this will work just in general. It's already all set up for you. Just make sure it's in the right place. Um, just the animations are gonna be a little broken because you will need to be uh, upload your own animations Which I said all you need to do is go into toolbox and then insert the animations and create new ones from there Or you can also just create your own animations, whatever is easier for you guys So, um, yeah, that's about it. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I hope you really did enjoy this video um, Just remember that if you really wanted to do anything and create this anywhere else in a script copy and paste this whole thing inside of here because this is literally the whole script this is what changes you um and it's pretty nice so yeah i hope you did enjoy this video if you did please feel free to comment like subscribe and share i will see you guys in the next tutorial um thank you guys very much and uh i'll see you all later uh, thank you very much bye